Hey, it's Andre, and well, I'm wearing a set of Epson Moverio goggles. They're AR, alternative wearable technology, I guess is the term they want to use right now. And it's actually pretty neat because I see what my Phantom sees right through these goggles. So rather than having a tablet, I have full line of sight vision. I am wearing a thicker visor just to enhance the view up from the goggles. You know, so everything uh, but I'm just uh, I'm excited to try these out I mean this is a really crisp display uh, I see all my content and all my information I'm actually recording uh, the device uh, so we'll be able to overlay my view from the camera here and the phantom view and the onboard view and everything and you'll be able to get an idea of what the experience is like so without further delay let's go flying okay so we tap this guy over here there's my Cursor, tink, and then slide. <laughs> Get up and out of here right away. So, <laughs> there's a point where, you know, the idea is it's all line of sight. Actually, this is, it's kind of neat. Uh, it's definitely something you have to get used to because uh, I can see my fan right there and then I got the onboard video. I'm going to actually tilt my camera down ever so slightly. There you go. And I've got all my information. I'm 94 meters away. I'm at a uh, height of 31.5 meters and I probably could have actually used the lighter shade or even bumped the brightness up on my display. That's the volume. Brightness is over here. Brightness, not brightness up. I uh, do that. Brightness, and I wonder if I have to. Oh well, I'll live with it. It's uh, it's definitely neat. Okay, so we're gonna fly over to our favorite spot, and I got a feeling after a while your head will just fall down. So, all right, let's try this. We'll go up. Uh, stutter in the video feed. That could be because I'm recording uh, the feed as I go. And, uh, so the, the, the Android device might be taxed. This little guy down here. So I'm just going to fly over there. High wind conditions. You see that folks? So we're not going to hang out too much actually. I'm going to bring this back uh, just because I can't keep my altitude static all the time. So we'll bring it down, we'll come back, do a couple flybys, because definitely... And my fingers are cold, but we get the idea. We'll bring it down in altitude. Actually, that's in feet, so I have to reset. So this is the one thing you have to know about when you start moving through devices, right? Everything is set to, uh, to feet. I probably don't have my uh, all my, my settings ported up from my tablet, right? So I just move around. Let's get up. Above those trees, which I can see really clearly right now, and we'll be able to pick up the phantom, which is just over this way. So I am dealing with a lot of bright skies, snow, and everything. So there's points where you're kind of like, uh, you know, the, the detail. So if I put my hand over, I know exactly what I'm looking at, right? So it's a, it is kind of interesting. So. us. I am enjoying it though. It is another way to experience this. Uh, I think the one thing I would love to see on this tech is the um, the control interface actually be like another tablet. Um, so you know you could <laughs> so you could actually things like you know entering information on a keyboard and everything just becomes a little easier. 
we are. <laughs> I probably could have gotten away with a lighter shade uh, just to enhance the uh, the visual uh, of myself, because but I can see my my phantom right there. I've got the information right here in front of me, so it's a it's a neat neat neat, neat concept. And for anybody who's dealing with a must have a line of sight rule and, uh, and and maintaining line of sight but wants their visuals this is a kind of a interesting way to get around it so i got a feeling too if i turn around you know you've got more of a gray backdrop with the parking lot uh, you might actually have a little better luck uh, so come the summer when we got some green this would be pretty cool so There we are. Wave. All right. See if I can bring this in for a landing here, nice and cleanly, and not hit any posts. It is a very like I, I got a feeling that like once you get used to this, and your mind is kind of just tracking things the way you want to track it, you're used to the inputs and the, and the visuals. I have a feeling it's a very, very enjoyable playing. It is a cold, cold day to be testing this kind of tech, but it is actually kind of neat and kind of exciting. Um, I like the possibilities. I like where the stuff is going. I got a feeling that as future developments come out, this thing is going to rock the world as we know it. Um, yeah, this is to get all this content and all this information on your display. Oh, this is this is handy. So I think as uh, as this product develops, we're going to see a lot of good things. Again, I'm Andre. These are the Epson Mario uh, FPV goggles.